Hello, today's tutorial will show you how to lock your device by shaking it. Locking the device is just an example. Of course you can use it to do other things, like, for example, opening the camera app when you shake the phone. In this tutorial, I want you to understand that you can use more than one profile to trigger a single action. Today we are going to use three profiles to trigger one action, I will explain as we go along, so go ahead and create a new project by clicking the home button, then clicking on add. Give this project a name, shake lock, sounds like a good name. Click OK. Click the plus sign to create a profile. Give it a name, Shake Lock. Click OK. Select Event. Click on Sensor, then select Shake. It'll give you an alert to calibrate it. Click OK unless you think that you need to perform a calibration. There are three ways to shake your device, I am using the left to right shake, you can choose whichever you want. From the sensitivity drop down menu, I usually select medium at first, then I can come back and change the shake sensitivity later. If I need to. Also leave the duration on medium. You can always change it after you are done, and test it you work. Click the back arrow. Select new task. Give this task a name, shake lock, or whatever name you like. I usually give tasks and profiles the same name, for me, I can figure out much faster which task goes with which profile. Click OK. Click the plus sign to create an action. Click on display. Select lock. Enter your code. Don't forget it, otherwise you will be locked out. Allow cancel will let you to exit the lock screen. Tick this one for now, till you finish and test your work. Uncheck it later when you are sure that everything is working right. Remember till off, if you check this, then you won't have to enter the code until you wake device again. Click the question mark for more help. You can also customize the lock screen with an image from your device. Just click the search icon, find your image and click on it. Click the back arrow. You can also use the secure setting plugin to lock your phone. Click the plus sign to create an action. Click on plugin, then select secure setting. Click the edit icon. Select dev admin actions. Then select lock device. Make sure that the device admin is checked. Then click the save icon. Click the back arrow. You only need one of those actions. I just wanted to show you that it can be done in different ways, so please delete one of them, I am keeping the secure setting action. Click the back arrow. Press and hold on the profile. Then select Add. Click on Application. Select the apps that you do not want the phone to lock up when they are open. I selected the navigation app and video playing apps.
On the bottom, click Invert. Click the back arrow. OK. So far for this lock action, it will only be triggered if you shake the device left to right, and if none of the apps that you selected are open. Next, I am going to create a third profile, and I will use a new plugin called, Movement Detection. This is a paid plugin, but it has a 30 days trial period, it cost $1.25. It can detect whether you are driving, walking, running or biking, and I will leave the link in the description if you are interested. Press and hold on the second profile and select Add. Click on State. Now click on Plugin, then select Movement Detection. Click the edit icon. Select the type of movement from the first drop down menu. I am selecting in forward slash on a moving vehicle. Leave the confidence required set to normal for now, raise it up later if the plugin does not recognize your movement. Delay clearing condition, is how fast it will detect change of movement and clear the condition. I would leave it at 30 seconds. And down toward the bottom, you will find variables that you can use in Tasker, we do not need to use them today. Click the save icon, which is the check mark on top. Check the box that says Invert. Click the back arrow. OK, so now we have a single task that has a single action which is triggered only if you shake the phone left to right, certain apps are not open, and you are not driving. If one of these conditions is not met, then it will not trigger the action and the phone will not lock. I hope that you like this video and found something new and interesting. Thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe and like this video.